to install a hypervolt you will need a hypervolt charger a consumer unit maybe depending on your installation surge protection an mcb a type a rcd and some other bits and bobs depending on your installation requirements you'll also need some 6mm EV Ultra Cable, EV Cable Clips, sealant, test equipment, and other bits and bobs. Experience preferably, a mountain of tools. And a love for bad weather. I'm using the D-Line EV Cable Fixings again today. If you haven't used them before, give them a go. They're really good. Also, D-Line as a company is great. They provide some really good trunking solutions. I'll leave a link below to a video where I have demonstrated this. So the Hypervolt is available in three different colors. Space Gray, which is my personal favorite, it also comes in a black and a white. As standard, it comes with a five meter tethered cable, but you do have the option for a seven and a half meter cable or a 10 meter cable, which is great if you've got a really long driveway or you don't want to keep swapping cars over when you're charging. It also comes with a CT for the dynamic load management. It can be connected through Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and it has a scheduling option so you can take advantage of an EV tariff. It also integrates with Alexa, it integrates with solar, and it's constantly getting upgraded with new lighting modes. So why do I always install my own consumer unit? Well, normally the existing consumer unit is plastic, full up, maybe missing blanks cables dressed in badly which I don't want to be associated with I just like to keep my work separate also a tip for you younger sparks out there you may not know this but with these Wilex boards they've got a code on them so these NSB 06s and these 16s and also the NSB 10s all have a recall notice on them from about 10 years ago so these need replacing also if I did use this consumer unit I am taking responsibility for that I've got the consumer unit installed, I've got the charger mounted on the wall, I'm going to get on with my dead testing. So inside the Hypervolt we have two terminals here and this is for your CT for the dynamic load management. And just behind this here we have a little dial that you need to adjust that to suit your installation requirements. So once you've got all your dead testing done, the easiest way to connect this to the internet is by downloading the Hypervolt app yourself as the installer. Once you've done this, get it connected up, then when you do the handover, it's just nice and easy and nice and simple. If you're someone who's looking for an electric vehicle charging point, I do recommend the Hypervolt. It's a good unit, the app's good. Personally, I haven't had any issues with it.